Welcome to Electro Online. Well, it turns out that nature has a really good thermostat, a thermostat that Earth's atmosphere benefits from greatly. What is that thermostat? Well, it turns out it's called the Stefan Boltzmann Law. The Stefan Boltzmann Law states that the amount of energy or power emitted or radiated out from a surface depends on the size of the surface, which of course makes a lot of sense. If it's twice as big, it will radiate twice as much energy, but it also depends on the temperature of the surface to the fourth power. Now that's the key right here. Notice that if a surface doubles in temperature, it will put out 16 times as much energy. Wow. Well, on the Earth, of course, temperature never doubles from what it normally is because the temperature needs to be expressed in terms of Kelvin, and hopefully it will never get to be about 500 Kelvin on the surface of the Earth. But the principle is still there in such a way that even small changes in the temperature will make large differences in which energy is radiated from the surface. Here we kind of have a graphical picture of that. If the temperature on the Earth is 253 Kelvin, which would appear in the Arctic or in, in northern regions during the winter time, Notice the amount of energy radiated is quite a bit less than when the temperature increases. Even a 20 degree Kelvin increase, when it gets up to zero degree centigrade, the freezing point of water, the amount of heat radiated from the surface increases by 35% over when it was minus 20. And another increase, if we go up to 20 degree centigrade, which is kind of a nice summer day, then you can see that the amount of energy radiated is now 80% as much as it was when the temperature was minus 20 degrees centigrade. And a hot day, like in the desert, during the summer at 40 degrees centigrade, let me get out of the way here, 40 degrees centigrade, 313 Kelvin, the amount of energy radiated is now well over 100% more than it was at minus 20 degrees centigrade. So you can see the amount of energy radiated increases basically exponentially as the temperature increases. And so what happens is, even in the very hot regions of the world, like the Sahara Desert, some of the other deserts, the temperature reaches up to a certain point and doesn't seem to go beyond that because any slight increase in the temperature on the surface just has a tremendous, a tremendous response in energy being radiated back into space, and that's what we call the thermostat of the Earth. So, yes, it can get warm, but there are limits to that. And that's why the world's hottest temperature, which was set over 100 years ago, hasn't been broken because those are temperatures that are rarely reached because of the Stefan Boltzmann's law. The concept that even small change in the temperature result in very large increases in the heat, in the heat radiated, which does seem to put a limit on how hot it can get, even in the hottest regions of the world.